case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1997, the District of Columbia Court of Appeals heard a case called Pointer v. Loftus that examined the responsibilities of blind individuals in avoiding accidents. Mr. Pointer, a legally blind man, filed a personal injury lawsuit after falling off an elevated walkway. He claimed that a missing bush that usually acted as a barrier caused his accident. However, the trial court granted summary judgment in favor of the defendants, finding Mr. Pointer contributorily negligent for not taking reasonable precautions, such as using a cane or seeing eye dog. Although Mr. Pointer could see six to eight feet in front of him, he relied on companions for guidance and was alone at the time of the accident. The appellate court affirmed the decision, ruling that Mr. Pointer's blindness and the missing bush were not valid excuses for his fall. As a result, Mr. Pointer was deemed at fault and the defendants were absolved of responsibility for his injuries. The case was closed with a clear message that blind individuals are still expected to exercise reasonable care in order to prevent accidents. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.